In this video, we're going to be going over which test you should use, the z-test or the chi-square test. Each one has its key assumptions that differentiates from each other, and each test compares things differently to get a particular understanding out of what they're comparing. The z-test assumes normality of the data, that the data has a sample greater than 30, and the test itself is a comparison of means. Usually, it's a comparison between a sample and a population, or a sample and a gold standard. An example of this is the average height of basketball players on a specific team to the average height of all basketball players in the league. And then that test is looking to see whether it's significantly higher or lower in relation to each other. The chi-square test does not assume normality. It does not need a large sample size but it does have its limits to how small it can be. The purpose of the test is looking at a relationship between variables, usually independence. An example of this is sex and political party affiliation. And so we're trying to see the relationship between those two variables, not whether or not their average means are different. If you want to walk through for either one of these tests, I do have videos on them. For the chi-score specifically, I go over in depth the assumptions for it and then I also have an example that goes and checks those assumptions. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments section and I'll respond typically within 12 to 24 hours. If you're really appreciative, there's also super thanks. Thank you for watching and stay nerdy, my friends.